Okay guys, welcome to video one of the Predator Performance Series. What we're going to do in this series of videos, we're going to test Predator engines and common modifications. So we're going to do a baseline with a stock Predator, then we're going to run down another baseline with the Stage 2 kit, and then finally we're going to fast forward to the next video, we're going to put on some Stage 3 parts, and we're going to hit it again and see what we get. The goal here is just to get a realistic idea of what kind of performance you get for the kind of money you have to spend. Um, so two things I have to say up front before we get to the actual riding and all the fun stuff is that I don't think that the stage two is going to make a huge difference on a short point to point kind of race like we're doing. Um, I think that the open air box and the header and the car mods and all that stuff isn't really going to shine until you get in the upper RPMs. Um, I do think though that the stage three stuff is really going to make a huge difference all around when you go adding the cam and the billet parts it's just it's just going to respond better at all rpm so i think there is going to be some difference um and the second thing that i have to say is that the gps information displayed specifically the mile per hour and stuff off of my sony action cam is it works but it's delayed so I'm gonna go and then you're not gonna see anything change mile per hour for like a second. And then when I stop accelerating, you're gonna see it a second later hit the peak mile per hour and then you're gonna see it finally start dropping off. It works, it's not great. I'm hoping they'll update that some. Um, I bought that Sony cam just for the video stabilization. It has hands down the best stabilization out right now um, because it uses optical stabilization. I pulled my hair out because I wanted the GoPro. I really wanted the Hero 5 Black, but it still had digital stabilization. All the other features on it are awesome. The GPS is better. The microphone audio in is better. Uh, just everything, form factor, fit and finish, I think is better, except for video stabilization. And when you're doing riding on the carts and the trikes and the stuff that I do, um, that really just comes first. So. Anyway, we'll get to it and then we'll hit you back right after. Hello. guys like we thought uh, it wasn't a huge difference um, especially the 0 to 25 mile per hour the really short run we didn't see a whole heck of a lot difference uh, I can tell you being in the cart that towards the very end as it as it nears the end the finish line so to say it, it was really pulling a lot harder and it feels a lot stronger um, that was just too short of a run to really show any kind of real differences because the real difference with the stage two is on the top end. You can see when we did the longer run that uh, the stage two was pulling a lot harder. As I exited the driveway and go to the yard, it was actually hard for me to keep uh, traction. You can hear it in uh, one part of the clip where it actually breaks traction and starts bouncing off that 5,000 RPM uh, governor limit. So, and all in all, had it kept traction, had it not been bouncing off the, the, uh, the governor there, I think it would have done a lot more than the few mile per hour difference that it did make, um, but 
anyway, that's what it is. I mean, 80, 90 bucks, uh, I think just for the sound and the extra little bit of power, it's definitely worth it. Uh, getting that board carburetor uh, is really, really worth it. The, the stock carburetor is really lean. So to me, it's just not worth, it's not worth jetting it when you can get a whole nother board carburetor that's already jetted correctly for a couple extra bucks. So anyway, the next video, we're gonna be doing the stage three. We're gonna put on the billet flywheel. We're gonna do the billet plus 20 rod. We're gonna do the mod two cam. Um, this is just a really budget cam, but it comes with most of the kits and it's a good cam for the money. So I'm not gonna knock it. I've got a couple different thickness head gaskets that we're gonna uh, try out. I'm gonna, when I take the head off and I start doing everything, I'm gonna look at our tolerances. I'm gonna clay the top of the pistons to see how much I can get away with. Because when you buy this kit, it also comes with a gasket kit, which includes a thin metal um, head gasket, which I think is about 10 thousandths or something. It's really thin. So it's extremely thin. We're gonna bump the compression up as much as we can by going with the smallest head gasket that we can get away with. Um, we're gonna put 18 valve, 18 pound valve springs in. Um, and that with that cam, I think is really gonna wake up the uh, bottom to mid range. This is more or less a stock lift cam, um, has a little bit more duration. So it should make some decent torque. Uh, so you really, I'm using 18 pounds of kit comes with 22 pound valve springs, but uh, I'm not really trying to spend much past, you know, 6, 6,500 RPM. Uh, I just, I just don't have the room to wind it up that much and I'm not gonna gear it so low that I'm always doing that. So the 18 pound is, is fine for me. Um, like I said, if you get the kit, it comes with a 22 pound and all this stuff I got from NR Racing. I think they sell a complete stage three kit or somewhere mid 200s and then if you can you can upgrade and add different things you can add a better cam in place but uh, I mean when you buy in the kit the prices are just kind of hard to beat uh, I think normally it sells for like a hundred when you buy it in the kit you're getting it for like 70 to 80 same with the rod everything's just kind of cheaper in that kit uh, but anyway so we'll see in the next video we're gonna put all these parts on we're gonna go run the same test that we did today with the stock and the stage two and we're going to see just what kind of difference does the whole stage three package make. And then after that, I kind of would like to get some input from you guys to see, you know, kind of do a best of the best type deal. So we're going to go away from the stock carb. Um, we're going to put on a lot more aggressive cam. We're probably going to go with a Makuni or something like that. So if you guys have any suggestions for what you want to see tested on this, uh, just let me know and we'll try and make that happen. But uh, until next time, thanks guys.